Begin in a standing position, feet shoulder width apart. And raise your arms up in front of you with an exhale. And inhale, bring your arms out, back down. And again. And back down. Leading with the thumbs on the way up. Exhaling. And breathing in on the way down. Leading with the edge of your hand. And for this next one, on the way down, we're going to bend at the knees. Keep your knees going forward as much as possible. Arms up, knees straight. Arms down, knees bent. And just feel the coordination of this motion become more easy. And as you do that, increase the speed so that you're almost bouncing your way back up. And then to the point where you are just bouncing back up. You can match my speed or you can even go faster. That's fine. Whatever is your rhythm for this movement, for this releve. And now add a swing in the arms and two knee bends and bring arms back up. Drop the arms, swing them across your body, drop, drop, and back up. And drop, drop, back up. Arms going up out to the side of your body. And two percussive breaths on the way down. Inhale, drop twice, exhale. And one last time. And bring your arms back down with a nice inhale. Move to the top of your mat in a standing position. And we're going to begin the knee bend by just slowly bending our knees. Just getting used to the movement. And then adding a little bit of spring using the elasticity of our joints to spring us back upwards from our drop. We're just priming the knee bend movement. and drop in sets of two now. Exhale, exhale. Drop, drop. And you may increase your speed faster than I'm doing if you need to, or slower, whatever's comfortable. Now initiate a roll down, tuck your chin into your chest, keep your shoulders relaxed, breathe, and just segmentally lower your body. And bend the knees, put your hands on the floor, and straighten your legs as much as possible keeping your hands in contact with the floor and bend your knees again back down and step your left leg back into a lunge. And bend twice into your right knee and step back into 
an inverted V. Now keep the back straight and slightly curve the pelvis. A sits bone towards your head and then curve it back the other direction so your tailbone goes towards the ceiling and slightly bend the knees and drop two knee bends with percussive exhales. Drop, drop. Drop, drop. Again, using the elasticity of our fascia to spring ourselves back upwards. One more time, and we'll step our left leg forward into a lunge, and we'll do two knee bends forward with that left leg, and step your right foot forward, and initiate a roll up. So you're curling the pelvis first, then the lumbar spine, Remembering to breathe the whole time. You may stop and breathe at any point and continue upward. We'll begin our next movement in a child's pose or kneeling on the mat toward the back of the mat and push up into a cat. Then to four point kneeling and curl the toes under and lift into a V and bring the right leg forward and lower the left knee. Then we're going to sit back more toward our left leg and you may adjust the position of your foot wherever it needs to be, your right foot. We're basically going to do a hamstring stretch. Now the important thing is you want to keep your knee bent the whole time. It can be close to straight, but you don't want it completely straight. And raise your right sits bone or tilt your hip up toward the ceiling on the right side. Now flex the foot like you're letting up off of the gas and spread your toes. And we're just gonna turn the entire leg outward and inward, back and forth. Nice, slow, comfortable movement. If you need to bend the knee more to make it more comfortable, that's fine. Just really feel the layers on the back of the leg peeling apart. And you may find one direction's easier than the other. That's very common. Just feel the movement. Okay, and that's the last one. Bring your foot closer to you now, back into that lunged position, and curl your toes under on the left side and push up into a lunge, and right foot back into an inverted V, and bring the left leg forward. into a lunge at your own pace. I'll show you from the other side. It's a better view. 
In the end, it doesn't matter how you get there. Just get into this position, same position you were in on the other side, and raise that left sits bone up toward the ceiling. And flex your foot. Now you may notice on my end, this side is a side that I injured about 10 years ago. So it's a little different for me. Flex the foot and begin rotating the foot and leg outward and inward at your own pace. And last one, curling in, bring your foot flat to the floor and lunge forward. You can stretch those hamstrings a little more and bring your left foot back into an inverted V and then lower your knees and sit back. Stay in the kneeling position and kick your left foot outward and turn your body so you're in a 90-90 kneeling position. You can adjust wherever your feet go, narrow or wide. Just make sure that your knee is in line with your toes. And you can place your hand on your knee to support your body. And we're going to lean forward into that left knee. And then we're going to push back. And it is okay with this movement if your knee goes beyond your toes, if there is no discomfort. Now, like we've done before with some movements, we're just going to gradually feel out this movement and then increase the speed at a comfortable pace until we can feel our momentum forward, bringing us backward with the elasticity of our fascia. Notice now my whole upper body is staying in line with my right thigh. And last one. And we can turn our body and get back to a central kneeling position. Take your time. And go ahead and just sit back onto your feet if you'd like and rest for a moment. And over to the right side. And we will do the same thing on this side. Just keeping our knee in line with the toes and leaning forward into that knee and hip bend.
And last one. Come back to a kneeling position and rest by sitting toward your feet. From that position, get into a kneeling position and we'll start sitting back, leading with our tailbone and have our upper body at about a 45 degree angle. Just get used to that tilt of the pelvis because that's what this movement is all about. And as we initiate the curl up, we're going to curl our pelvis So the pelvis stays in line and then curls back, raising the pubic bone toward the ceiling and pull yourself up with the quadriceps. Now, like all of our movements, just slowly get acclimated to that movement and then we'll increase the speed. And keeping your hands on your pelvis can really give you a feel for this movement. <laughs> 